Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how we retrieve the value from one API response, all the values, and then I will hit the next API for each data. Like we have here one uh, API method get pets by status. So if I send the request, it will give us the all the pets detail whose status is sold. Okay. Now we have here multiple uh, pets detail. You can see here. Now we have next API where we can retrieve the pets details by using the pets ID. So we need to pass here the pets ID. Like suppose that we, this is the pet ID. If I send the request, we will get the same pet details. Status sold, pet ID, name this, okay. Photo URL, tag is black. Same details we are retrieving. So two APIs we have, one API when I send the request, it will retrieve all the pets detail whose status is sold. Now we need to send the request and check for each pets that is available in database. Okay. So now here we need to loop the second test for each data what we are getting from the API response. So how we achieve this? So first of all, we need to set up the all the IDs. Okay, we need to retrieve all the IDs from the first request. So how we retrieve? So we have pm dot response method dot JSON method. It will give us the all the JSON JSON response. We have one variable stored in JSON response, and we can create another variable pets ID. Here we can retrieve and parse all the pets ID. So we can call here dot map method, and then let's store in pet ID. pets.id variable is pet id then pets.id because the uh, this is coming at root so pet then its id so it will retrieve each data okay and then pass the pets id let me log here so if i run you will see all the pets detail here let me send yeah all the pets there are seven ids you can see as a list so it will parse the json uh, I, pets id and store in the pets variable so now we because we need to run the next test for each data so let me set this variable in a these values in a collection variable so i'm going to create pets id then passing here pets id okay so if i run now it will fetch the all the pets id and store in a collection variable you can see all the ids are stored here in the next API, we need to retrieve the value from this list and run our request one by one. Okay, so how we do that? So if you want to change this value at runtime, means if we want to fetch the collection variable, get the first value and update here, then this code we need to write in pre-request script section. So let's first capture all the IDs. P 
get IDs equal to pm dot collection dot get variable name is pets ID. Okay, so it will retrieve all the IDs. So let me create another variable current pet ID. Pets dot shift method. So shift method will remove the first value and store in the current. Okay, so let me now set this in a collection variable using the set method. So another creating another variable. This is current pet ID and then setting of the value current pet ID. Okay, so now if I run, you will see one variable will create. Pets IDs send. Now, if I go here, you will see the current pet ID first value is added here, right? So now also, if we retrieve the first value, then we need to update this list again, okay? Without the first value, because first value we sit here, and then we can use the variable current pet ID. So now if I send request, you will see the response. Okay, next we need to set up collections variable set with new array. So in the new array, current value will remove. So we can set up again so if i run you will see the array is now updated by removing this value we have done the prerequisite sets okay now we need to write the code into the test section which will iterate our get pets by id test for each and every ID, pets ID, what we are retrieving from the API get pets by status. Okay, so let's see how we iterate our the APIs to run with multiple set of data. So let's first capture IDs from the collection variable. So we need to call the pm dot collection dot get method then we can retrieve here value pets ids okay and let me write the code log pet id Pets ID. So pets ID. This is the uh, variable, and now I'm just logging logging the data you can see getting the blank let me run again data is set three data now again running again you can see we are retrieving data so now we need to iterate the test for each set of array data okay so we can add here condition if pet ids are defined and pets id dot length is greater than zero then we need to call postman dot next request and pass here the api method which api we not want to repeat so now i'm going to repeat the same api 
So get same API request, right? Get pets by ID. Okay, so now this is ready. So it will iterate only, it will iterate the uh, get pets by ID until we have data in the array list in the collection. Okay, in the else block, we can also add a condition to pause the iteration. So for that, we can use postman dot next set next request and pass here none. Now let me run. Let me clear the logs. Run. Day select select first API two APIs. So in first API, it will send the request and retrieve the all the IDs and set up in the collection variable. And the next API in the prerequisite, we are getting the data from the uh, collections variable from the list and then send the request. Okay. And in the test section, we are repeating, we are iterating until the list of the data is blank. You can see test run four times. First, then there is two set of tests, two times get pets by ID run for each data. Like there are two data, so 19, 4, 6, 7. This is first ID, 1, 2, 3, this is the second ID. Okay. Now let me change this with sold to available. Okay. So in this case, we will get more IDs. Because there is a lot of APIs whose status is a lot of pets whose status is available. So you can see there is a five, seven, eight data we are retrieving. So now if I run the test, right? So we will see the get pets ID will run five, seven, eight times. Five hundred seventy eight times it will run. Yeah, you can see running. Okay, so let me stop this. So in this way, we can run the test by pulling the data, array data from one API request, and we can run next test based on the data, means multiple times. Okay, hope this will help you how you iterate your data by retrieving the values from the one APIs. Okay, and uh, if you like my video, please share this to your colleagues, friend, subscribe the channels and click on like button.